Hi guys, this video is dedicated to my signature and Google Workspace integration and all the beneficial features that you can get out of those. After quick and easy integration setup, you will be able to create and manage all the signatures in one dashboard and also deploy those just in one click. So let's dive in and see how we can get started. Once you're on our website, the first thing that you need to do is Workspace and my signature integration. Just click on the connect button and then go with the flow. It is very important to mention that you need to have admin rights for Google Workspace to proceed with this particular step. In case you need more detailed instructions on that, there is another video dedicated to that. So feel free to check it out. Once we are done with the integration process, we are ready to move to users panel. Here we can import new users just in a few clicks. So here I'm choosing the users that I want to have on my list. And in a few seconds, you can already see that is almost done. After that, we are finally ready to proceed with segments creation and also signature templates design for every segment. So we click on create a segment button and here you can see the list of all the pre-designed signatures. Of course, you can start from scratch, but I totally recommend to double check if you like any of those because they look great and it's gonna save you tons of times. So once you find something you like, just click on use the template here, you will see the flow of what you can change and add it in the signature. That is super easy. You can just type in the information that you need and it's already gonna be updated on the signature preview on the right. There are all the assets that you can change like general information and contact, images, social links, add-ons, and general design and layout. Once you're happy with the result that you see on the preview, just click save the segment and we are back to our segment list. It's super easy to rename it. Just click on the three dots, click rename. And for example, I want this segment to be named main and we are done with renaming it. Once you want to proceed with the further steps, just click on the segment that you want to work with. And on the top right, you can see add users button here. We can add the users that we imported previously to this particular segment. Just choose the users that you want to proceed with and click add to the segment. After that, by clicking deploy all, we are already finalized the whole process from very beginning to the very end. I really hope this video was easy and useful for you. In case you run into any problems, please feel free to contact our support team. They're always there to make your experience as seamless as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.